I want to know for you all, there was a very important exchange yesterday where you had uh, Comey say that maybe and during one of his interviews, because he's going on a, on a press blitz now to try to save whatever remnants of his reputation he thinks he has. I mean, he's he's about as honorable and decent as Michael Avenatti at this point. Somebody who the Democrats at one point were raising as a possible presidential contender. But he said, you know, Barr is going to keep looking. Um, Barr is going to keep trying to find things. And maybe, you know, eventually he'll find some way to justify this. Oh, I think he will. Here's play a clip two here. Here's Comey trying to trying to start the little war on Barr himself. The attorney general has to be the steward of an organization that's apolitical. So he has to be both a political appointee and a guardian of the apolitical nature of investigations. The justice statue wears a blindfold because you cannot be peeking at your political boss or your friends when you're making decisions. It's certainly hard to explain a lot of his conduct over the last year as consistent with that role of balancing the political and the apolitical. He seems to have leaned on the political entirely. I mean, it, the only reason really for him to make a statement and a commentary about the Inspector General report, as with Durham, is really to send a message to the president that, you know, don't worry, we, we're still on yeah, this. To his supporters, yeah, I know it looks like that you told whoppers to the American people about a vital institution for two years, but I got this. We're going to find something. We'll keep digging until we find something that justifies what you've been saying for two years. Yeah. I don't think that's a role for the Attorney General of the United States. You know why he's saying this? Because Durham is going to find something. He's going to find it. It's out there. Friends, they offer you no explanation. They offer you that this was just all a coincidence, that this just happened. It was just a bunch of oopsies. They tell you that the single most important, single biggest investigation, perhaps in the history of the FBI in many ways, was handled by people who are such abject morons that they neither have any sense of fairness nor their own procedures and rules, and that somehow, if they were trying to continue an investigation against a presidential campaign and then a president despite the evidence, if that was their goal, they managed to do it, but they managed to do it all by accident. It just happened that way. Or maybe there's something else here. I think we all know there's something else here. How did all of this get started? Who decided that they needed to even consider this crossfire hurricane investigation against Papadopoulos? Who was under investigation by federal authorities? We know that it was Flynn, it was Manafort, it was Papadopoulos, it was Carter Page. When did all of that begin, and how, and what stories were told? All we need, friends, is one email, one text message from one of these deep state conspirators that Durham is looking at, and the whole thing comes crashing down. Wait and see. 